In this video, we'll be completing a stoichiometry calculation. This will be similar to the stoichiometry you've done in the past, um, except this reaction will be carried out in solution, so we'll be using um, a couple formulas, specifically the formulas for molarity. How much 0 0.125 molar sodium hydroxide solution is required to completely neutralize 0 0.225 liters of 0 0.175 molar sulfuric acid solution. So there are a lot of numbers there and there's a lot going on. Let's, let's try to break that down. Sodium hydroxide, that's a base, and sulfuric acid is of course an acid. And what we're going to do is we're going to add base to the acid until the solution is completely neutralized. So how much of the base is required? How much? That sounds like they're asking for volume or liters. So basically how many liters of base is required to neutralize this acid solution? Okay, so once again we're going to do a stoichiometry step in addition to using the molarity equation. Now you know that all stoichiometry requires a balanced equation. So base plus acid is going to make salt plus water. And the coefficients will be 2, 1, 1, 2. Notice that the base is in green and the acid is in red. As we carry out this um, calculation, everything pertaining to the base will be green, everything pertaining to the acid will be red. So let's start off using the molarity equation. So the molarity of base is equal to the moles of base divided by the liters of base solution. So let's plug in what we know. They give us the concentration of base. It's 0 0.125. Okay? And what they're asking for, remember, is how much base solution is required. So we'll be looking for x. Now, in order to solve x, which, remember, this will be our answer, we need to know two things, the molarity and the moles. But we don't know the moles. That's where stoichiometry comes in. So let's use the molarity equation for the acid. Molarity of acid is equal to moles of acid divided by liters of acid solution. Now let's plug in what we know. We know the molarity of the acid solution. We also know the volume of acid solution that we want to neutralize. So if we know the molarity of solution and we know the volume of the solution, using algebra we can solve for how many moles of acid are in the solution. So when we solve for n, it comes out to be this. There are this many moles of acid in the solution. We want to add base to this solution until we've neutralized it. So how much base do we have to add? Well, let's look at the coefficients. The coefficients are 2 to 1. That means if we want to neutralize one mole of acid, we have to add two moles of base. So continuing with that logic, let's multiply by the conversion factor. This 1 and 2, remember these are the coefficients from the balanced equation. So if it takes two moles to neutralize one mole, you probably guessed that this value here is twice this value. So it's going to take this many moles of base. This is in green. Let's plug it in up here um, where it belongs. So this is moles of base, and you know that up here will be moles of base. So if we know the molarity of the base, and we know how many moles of the base, we can algebraically solve for how much solution is required. And that will be our final answer. So in order to neutralize this acidic solution, it takes this much basic solution to do that. Now this is a pretty long and complicated problem, so be sure to practice this on your own.